with head coach Rob McCourt. Uh, coach, obviously, this one, a great start. You get that early goal. What was a change for you in terms of what you're, what you're hoping to do during the course of the night when you score in the first minute? I guess you like to put the game away, but it doesn't always work out that way in soccer. Early goal is, is great. It gives you a little bit of sense of relief, but then sometimes guys take their eye off the ball, and uh, I felt like we did that. Yeah, speaking of that, Coach, what was your message to your guys at halftime? Uh, to be honest with you, we kind of stuck with our tactical approach to the game. Uh, I think the biggest thing you guys saw is a difficult trip to and from Elon playing on a tough surface, and I think the guys are leggy. You know, They're getting into school stuff right now, just starting. Um, so I, we just talked about staying with the game plan and continuing to do what we did. We created more chances tonight than I think too many teams create in college soccer games, uh, and they just didn't all go our way. You know, Coach, the opportunity to play a team moving into Division I uh, like LeMoyne, who, who did not make it easy for you tonight. No, they're fantastic. The coaches did a great job having the team organized and pressing, pressing in numbers, pressing like a pack. Uh, and they made it difficult for us to break down. But when we did break it down, I think if we would have gotten one early in the second half, probably could have had about four or five. One more before we let you go. The, the run that Ben Zikowski is on right now, he, he, he's such a finisher, and he could be the difference in games as you guys move forward. Yeah, you know, Ben's been like that for, you know, four now, five years going into fifth season COVID year. He's fantastic. And I will say this, uh, you know, everything he gets, he, he works for it. He works so hard. Uh, in training, he works so hard in the off season, uh, and his approach is just always, you know, like a young pro. So he deserves everything he gets. Coach, uh, stop! Uh, thanks for coming by. Stop talking about obviously what you guys did. Your goal kind of set the tone, but you know, Shannon and I both thought you guys were a, a touch off in that first half. Um, how do you work through something like that, knowing that you could, you could probably be a little bit sharper and a little bit better overall? You know, uh, day in and day out, we're going to have off days, whether it's you know, how we're playing, the energy levels or technical ability. Today, obviously, I think we're off in a little bit of both. But, you know, like our work rate is the only thing that's going to keep us in the game and, like, give us the advantage. So uh, at halftime, we told the boys, got the boys fired up, get them ready to go in the second half, tried to come out with a uh, different, different amount of energy, come out strong, get on the front foot and, you know, put them away. And it took a little bit, but we ended up getting the upper hand, putting a second in and just finishing them off. So... That's what it's really all about. We're not going to have our best days every time we step out on the pitch. It's just about our energy and our fight. Hey, Ben, talk to me about your thought process. So I'm a defender by nature. That last goal, I'm thinking, okay, he's taking it to the corner. Talk to me about your thought process of putting that into the far corner. Yeah, you know, I mean, a lot of the times when I when I, uh, I get tunnel vision, when I'm right in front of the net, I block everything out. I just see, uh, I see the goal. So once I had that touch out in front of me, I knew I was just going to smack it at the net, hope for the best, and, you know, Turned out my favor. I had a couple missed shots today, so happy to put a second one in the back of the net. So. Ben, finish with this one if you can for us. I, I know you opened up the league schedule on Saturday down at Elon. Uh, how does it factor in these midweek games now over the course of the next couple? Still trying to keep guys sharp, still trying to keep guys fresh. We saw a little bit of roster rotation tonight as well. Uh, but knowing at the end of the day you guys want to win each and every time you, you hit the field. Yeah, of course. I mean, I think these midweek games are really good for you know everyone to get some touches on the ball, everyone to get out there. And it's really just to get us comfortable on the field and, you know, really set our, set our uh, set of principles on the field and what we like to accomplish. So the midweek games are really good for us just to, you know, find, find our ways on the field and off the field, just try to get our energy up and, you know, get a win. So that's, that's what's most important. We take it game by game. Each week we try to improve, and that's what it really comes down to at the end of the day. I'm sure this won't be the, ne the last time we talk to you. Don't be harassed by Shannon as a former <laughs> defender. He's just jealous that you know how to score goals. <laughs> And he doesn't. Appreciate yeah, you coming by, Ben. Great job tonight. Thank you guys best, so much. I really appreciate it. Best of luck coming up. Thank you.